Nadine. Hey Rose. Hey everybody. Hi. This is Nadine. We were teachers at, at a residential school in the 90s. So we're going way back. Nadine was the art teacher and always amazed me at all of the creative projects she would have the kids do. I mean, she would get them interested and they would create beautiful products and hang them all over the school and it, it was just amazing well last time I met with Nadine I discovered she's been on a personal journey she has been uh, investigating her genealogy and her ancestry her family tree so I'm going to start by showing you this book here which she created the family of me um, this was really meant for the purposes of uh, showing to her family and then you'll see where it goes from here. So I'm going to read the uh, inside cover to you. As a photographer, I can clearly trace my interest in the art of photography back to early childhood. Back then, my father was always taking family photos and snapshots. Nearly every important and many not so important events were documented. Being from a large extended family, there was never a shortage of subjects. I began making photographs in art school. The photo above was taken by a friend during that time period. I'll show you that on the screen. I was always interested in social documentary photography. In the be beginning, it was street photography, but soon I moved on to that always available subject, my family. It was at that point that I became the official family photographer. Have camera, will travel. <laughs> During graduate school in the late 80s, I began combining some of dad's snapshots with my own work. However, years later, when most of my own work was destroyed in a flood, I became very sentimental about those family photos dad had taken so very long ago. I began transferring and repairing those images on the computer. At the time, I didn't have a project planned for the images. I just knew that I needed to protect them for my family. In the back of my mind, however, the idea of a book always lingered. Recently, I was with friends and a photographer friend of mine was showing a digital book he had published. I was blown away and I thought, that's it. That's what I'm going to do with those family photos. I started compiling those images that night with the intent of putting together this huge family photo album that I would give as gifts to my family. I soon realized that it was just too much for one book, so I decided that this first book would just focus on those early photos Dad had taken. I, dedicated this, I dedicate this book to my mom with whom none of this is possible. I present to you the family of me, a family, a Hinton family album. And in it, she has all of the older family photos. Can't really take you through the whole book right now, but it's amazing that you have all of these. Yeah, I do. Yes. And I, get, I have the originals mm -hmm. here that at some point maybe those can show some of those yes and yes and after this book nadine created a book of the next generation so i also learned that she gave these out as christmas presents to family members and what a gift that is can't buy that on amazon <laughs> yeah that's what was my goal yes <laughs> something they can't buy themselves definitely not okay <laughs> okay so i'm going to set these aside for now and um nadine yes. can you tell us where you started with this whole pro process and as you do i'm going to move behind the camera in case i need to make some adjustments okay so um i'll ask okay. you questions from the other side all right well, I guess I started uh, tracing my, my history, like I said, way back 
when I was looking at old family snapshots and I thought, you know, I want to know more about my family. I always have love uh, and an interest in my family. But once I started doing photography, I was always using images of my family. Family uh, it photographs with, with history that I learned from people. And I thought, you know what? They came up with this new thing, a new fangled way of finding out about where you came from. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to trace my DNA and see if that helps me with my family history. Well, I used um, Ancestry.com DNA test and I was able to trace myself. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I think I, we're at the beach today and I think I got sand in my eye. So <laughs> forgive me for um, yeah. wiping my eye. Um, so I did the DNA test and it was it was helpful to a, to a degree where it showed me where my DNA came from and I was able to find out that I was 48% Cameroon, Congo and Southern Bantu peoples. Um, there was 34% Benin and Toga in me and there was 9% from the Ivory Coast in Ghana. I was 3% from Mali. 3% from France, believe it or not. Well, I thought that was interesting. 2% uh, Native American, some of which I, I kind of got hints about throughout the years growing up. And then 1% German, Germanic Europe. So, I, you know, there's a little bit of everything, but the majority of it is, is, is um, countries in Africa. And so I thought that was interesting to find out where my family comes from from my DNA comes from anyway and they show you how your DNA moved and they, they show how generally the, the people with this DNA who came from this area where they went to next and all the people most and my family is from North Carolina and Virginia and they show that the majority of these people who came from Cameroon with this, with my DNA, migrated to the, the Carolinas and the Virginia area, yeah. which is where, you know, my people, you know, came, my, my family that I know of came from. Mm -hmm. But like I said, with the DNA test, what it doesn't help you do is to find out um, how, what happened to you once you, you, you got here to America. So for African Americans, it becomes a little bit more difficult to, to make use of the DNA because you will hit a roadblock once you get to get back as far as when the African Americans became he came here, became slaves at, at plantations in the South mm -hmm. because the names were changed and people, families were separated and, and there's really no way of connecting modern day Hinton family to my DNA in, mm -hmm. in Cameroon mm -hmm. because it just, that is, it has a disconnect there. Mm -hmm. So, but it has been useful with me helping to to build my family tree, which is another aspect of that Ancestry.com offers is, is to build a family tree. You have to get a membership with Ancestry.com in order to do that. But once you do that, it uses, it uses both your DNA and just information that you can provide that you know already to build onto that so you can find ancestors beyond what you could do on your own, people you don't know. So I'm, I've been able to build, fill out my family tree back several generations, um, almost to slavery. I'm almost there, I believe. You know, um, that is just so through cool. following the, the the hints and the and the, the yeah. options they give you on ancestry. So where does ancestry.com get this information? Well, they have access to a lot of uh, official uh, documents that mm -hmm. we as individuals may not be, have access to. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and that, but as individuals, we can get access to these things. You just, it just means you have to do a lot of physical running around. You have to go right. to places to get this, this information. You can't go online and say, you know, send me, you know, my dad's, my great grandfather's birth certificate or send mm -hmm. me my great grandmother's death certificate. Mm -hmm. You can't do that as an, mm -hmm. as an individual, but they, but ancestry.com has that ability to, to pull those documents for you mm -hmm. and they will find those documents and they'll, they'll put them on line and send you notifications mm -hmm. saying, Hey, we found this document mm -hmm. that might be related to somebody in your family tree. And mm -hmm. then you can look at that document. And you can decide, yeah, this is my grandmother. And you can add that to your tree or add mm -hmm. that to a person on your family mm -hmm. tree. Or you can say, no, this is not at all mm -hmm. anybody I know. And you can just ignore that and remove that that mm -hmm. document from the mm -hmm. listing and they will show you that one again. Mm -hmm. So it, it must be so exciting when a new leaf turns up, a it's, new branch. It's, it's fascinating. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. so obsessed with the process when I start doing it because you, you, you know, I sit down and there's, you know, there's a three or four leaves that weren't there, you know, last week when I sat down and, and, mm -hmm. you know, my, I've got 25, 30 minutes. I'm going to, I'm going to look at this hint. And next thing I know is five hours later. And I'm like still sitting there and nothing's been done in the house. I'm like, okay, I got to get off of this. But this is I your family. Get, your it, family yeah, it tree. really, it it's really is. It yeah. really is fascinating mm -hmm. when you find that relative that you've been looking for, you find something that shows that, yeah, that's you, that is that person I've been looking for. That is my, mm -hmm. you know, my, my, great aunt or somebody or right. my, my you know my great great grandfather and mm -hmm. you know, like I can make that connection now and now I see documents that prove that I see a death certificate yes. I see a marriage license mm -hmm. I see you know I see a military record mm -hmm. or or the census shows mm -hmm. that in, in 1850 they lived in this house with these siblings mm -hmm. and, and I'm like this is good it's just mm -hmm. fascinating and I don't know anybody that wouldn't get totally engrossed in the process of doing it. Mm -hmm. you know, now, whether or not you do the DNA, that's up to you. But I am saying if you um, are of any other descent other than African-American, you might find the DNA test amazing. Because you see on the commercials where someone, they, they find, they do their DNA test mm -hmm. and they trace their family back to Italy. And, and so for you, you can do that and they will, and they will help you do that. Mm -hmm. So it, it, you know, it's a really great tool to have in your toolbox if you're trying to yes. find out your family history or build a family mm -hmm. tree. Or, mm -hmm. you know. Now, Nadine, what has surprised you most and what, what have you found most fascinating about people in your family? That what I thought I knew I wasn't true and, mm -hmm. and I found that, I find that fascinating. I find that totally interesting. Like I, I, I thought I knew who my, my grandmother was on my, my maternal grandmother. I thought I knew from based on what my mother had, had said to me right. only to find out that no, that is not true. That the person who I thought was her mother was actually a grandmother and that there was another person that we had never heard of that turns out it was her actual mother and so uh, you know and that had been that just blew my mind right. that I'd never heard of this person I mm -hmm. didn't know that this person even existed until I found mm -hmm. documents that substantiated the fact that this person existed and there's no other explanation for her existence ex except that she had to have been my mother's mother and that the the woman who had raised my mother was the grandmother and the mother of both this of this woman that turns out to be my mother's mother or child I should say because I think in those days they may have kept that kind of um, Maybe that's why we never heard of it because she was very young. She had to be very young okay. to have my mother. And I think the, the grandmother, my mother's grandmother, okay. just said, you know what, she's, I raised her as okay. my daughter. And mm -hmm. 
these kids as yes. yeah, it's mine because you know huh. and then that may have just been done for the census and that I'm finding out that a lot of decisions that were made in in these families was were made because they had to show a certain uh family thing in the census the census was very important back then yeah so so in order to show who lived in these households a lot of times uh names and ages and were changed and people's people were eliminated from those households when the census takers mm -hmm. came around it might have been five kids in that household and you mm -hmm. said oh no there's only four and so when you look for that person in the census oh. and they're not there you go what where, where was this person right. you know it's, oh, it's not that they were so missing is that they were just yeah. they were just taken out because they wanted to look a certain way in the census right so okay. it's it's just it's uh, just fascinating yes. to find out yes. something new so you did tell me earlier that you found out some of your uh, male family ancestors served in wars yes yes, but, yes many of uh, my uncles and my dad was in world war ii and several of my uncles were in world war ii um and you know, I'm sure they've been in, and there are probably ones in in Korea that I don't know about. Um, I don't know if I told you this, but my oldest brother was in Vietnam, um, and so and and then you know, many of my, several of my immediate family, my brothers have served in, for the military mm -hmm. in many different branches, but um, yeah, a lot, mm. lot, lot of World War II vets in yeah. my family. That must make you proud. It, it yeah. does. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. What leaves you still curious, Nadine? Um, I'm still curious about getting back to Africa. I would love nothing more than to connect with my ancestors in Africa. And I, I don't know how that is going to, to, to come about, but I believe that that maybe through DNA, that at some point I will be able to find there will be someone in Africa, in one of my one of my countries of ancestry in Africa, that is also doing this DNA test, and that that DNA will show that oh. we are related through DNA. And and if they they're on ancestry and I'm on ancestry, ancestry will connect the DNAs that match and say, hey, you have we found someone here in in Cameroon mm -hmm. that matches your DNA, and they more than likely are, mm -hmm. you know, a second cousin or a third cousin or a fifth mm -hmm. cousin or or whatever that wow. is. And at that point, I would be able to get back to to connecting with people. Yeah. Roots way in, in Africa. back, yeah. Deep, deep roots. Yeah, that's my hope. Yes. That's my my yes. goal. Well, that mm -hmm. would be amazing. I mm -hmm. wish that for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, you also mentioned that you know you know that you have roots in Cameroon and other places, and um, I'm sure your ears perk up when you hear these <laughs> countries on the news. Yeah, it it, it does it. And, you know, before that. I would never, you know, it never, it, it just never, I never thought about it. So recently I was watching um, the World Cup, Women's World Cup with my husband and Cameroon is playing, I forget what country it was, but I, you know, I, I never would have thought, in fact, I never would have thought to root for Cameroon and I'm like, oh my God. There's somebody there. That woman, that girl right there, looks like me. I, I know we must be related. Go Cameroon! So I'm oh convinced that every time I see someone from one of these countries right. that um, I'm from, I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, yeah, do they look a little like oh, me or yeah, something? That is so so it's, cool. I, you know, it's really it's. Now you have that connection. I have that That's connection. So cool. Yeah. Okay, Nadine. What's the next step? What will you do with this information you're gathering? Well, uh, immediately the information I'm gathering is hopefully just to 
broaden my family tree and be able to share that information with my family. So, and how I'm will trying you, how to. How will you do that? Well, one of the things I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to build a family tree. Yeah. And I want to um, make one for each one of my my brothers. Uh, you know, with them at the center mm -hmm. of the of the tree and frame it and give it as a gift mm -hmm. so that every one of us mm -hmm. will have this family tree that we can hang on our wall as mm -hmm. you know as our, the Hinton Barlow yeah. family the tree proud family tree yeah right. so that's that's my mm -hmm. that's my immediate goal mm -hmm. you know long-term goal would be you know of course to take that tree out as far as I can can get it yes. to go where do you think this curi curiosity comes from? Like, I know you have family reunions and a lot of your elders talk about past history. Like, yeah, well, we do. We, we have family reunions every year. And, when, and there are, we have a few elders left in my family that kind of are the keeper, the keeper of the, of the information. And yes. they, they have a lot of that, that, that information from the olden days. But what motivates me, I think, more than anything else is my dad. My dad always told us that, you know, family is important. It's important that you know your family. It's important that you visit your family, that you keep, you know, in touch and, and know who and where your family is. Cause that's what he did. My father was the, the old, one of the oldest ones in his family. There was, there were 16 of them and he kind of wow. took care of all of them. He was the one who brought a lot of them north he was the one who made sure that they were okay in this in the cities that they were in and and he made a point of every year every summer we went to visit family you mm -hmm. know so he he always made sure that we knew family and so i've always known that family is important and so i've always tried to be like him to to yeah. Do fam, so I do. Mm -hmm. I do family reunions, mm -hmm. you know, small, you know, local family reunions mm -hmm. to keep my my local family mm -hmm. intact, and so that mm -hmm. you know all the grandkids know, you know, who their relatives are. Mm -hmm. So well, thank you to your do. dad, right, yeah. for starting this tradition mm -hmm. while your children were so young, and yeah, now you have generations of information that you can pass on. It's it's just amazing to me. Yeah. My family never did that. So mm. I feel like you have something really special there. I do. I yeah. do feel like it's special, mm -hmm. you know. And I do talk to other people who who say, oh, yeah, my family doesn't do that. Or my family doesn't have mm -hmm. any pictures. And, and my family yeah. has pictures galore. galore. Right. You know, my dad right. took pictures like there was no tomorrow. Yeah. So I have albums mm -hmm. on top of albums of mm -hmm. pictures. So, mm -hmm. you know. It's 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 very interesting. This, just mm -hmm. the subject. I can tell you're so excited and passionate yeah. about it. Yeah, I love it. Yes. I do love it. And I can see, you know, just as you're the hub of our old teacher friendships, <laughs> you're the hub of your family now, where you try to keep everyone connected. Yeah, I'll and, take that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nadine, would you recommend others do their own genealogy ancestry searches? I do. I do. I I, mm -hmm. I think everybody that can do it should probably go ahead and do it. it you know, what mm -hmm. can it hurt? I mean, you may not, you may find information that you already know, but you may find that little bit of information that you didn't know. So, mm -hmm. um, and that may spark you to start mm -hmm. tracing your family back. And once I tell you, once you start doing it you get you get hooked is that that dna family tree line is is mm -hmm. it's addictive yeah. it, it, it makes you want to know more it just makes it. you want to know I more so I, you know whether it's mm -hmm. ancestry or 23 and me or mm -hmm. or any of the other dna mm -hmm. things you should do that and even if you don't do that maybe just join one of these um dot coms and start a family tree and just see how much information you can find mm -hmm. on your own you can google stuff i found stuff just by googling people that have helped me build out my tree more so i mean there's a lot you can do on your own mm -hmm. um but if you once you hit a block you might think about 
doing something with one of these companies. So that's it. Well, I thank you so much for sharing this with us. And I know there are a lot of people out there who are curious about their family tree and their DNA or genealogy. So thanks for sharing this information. Maybe others now will know how to get started and what they might expect to find. You're welcome. Yes, so thanks really for having me, Rose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thanks. That's fine. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a few things from this special guest. Please like and subscribe, and most importantly, share this video with others who you think might enjoy it. And remember, if you or someone you know would like to share your real stories, please message me. Don't be shy. Then I can keep sending more remarkable women your way. Bye for now. Come back often.